grateful and victorious uh, king who has come to the temple to give thanks unto God and the response of the priests and others present with him. As Benjamin reads the passage, I will offer a brief explanation of each part. And so we begin with a reading of Psalm 118, verses 19 through 29. O oh, give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, his steadfast love endures forever. Let Israel say, His steadfast love endures forever. Open to me the gates of righteousness, that I may enter through them and give thanks to the Lord. The king requests entrance into the temple to give thanks unto the Lord for the victory he was given. This is the gate of the Lord, that the righteousness shall enter through it. Those in the temple welcome the king as the Lord has blessed him and saved his people and the land that he sought to protect. I thank you that you have answered me and have become my salvation. The stone that the builders rejected has become the chief cornerstone. The king directly addressed the Lord with thanksgiving. Others may not have favored or had trust in him, but the Lord used him to save his people. And the king knows unto whom the praise is due. This is the Lord's doing. It is marvelous in our eyes. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. The people acknowledge the truth of the king's word and joins in his praise for the Lord for his intervention on their behalf. Save us, we beseech you, O Lord. O Lord, we beseech you, give us success. The people lifted up their prayer unto the Lord that begins with save us. When save us is translated from Hebrew to Aramaic, the everyday language of the Israelites of Jesus' day, it becomes Hosanna. So appropriate as when they could not save themselves from the enemy that was at hand, God did. Blessed is the one who comes in the name of the Lord, who brought you from the house of the Lord. The Lord is God, and he has given us light. Find the festival, the festival procession of branches up to the horns of the altar. The king is blessed by those present as he enters into the temple with the procession of others bearing branches as they approach the sacrificial altar. You are my God, and I will give thanks to you. You are my God, and I will bestow you. I will give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his steadfast love endures forever. The king offers his words of thanksgiving unto the Lord, and calls upon all to join him in offering their thanksgiving unto the Lord as well. 